all these comorbidities associated with obesity. So by definition, underweight is under 18.5, and overweight is 25 to 30. But for South Asian, East Asian communities, so for people from Pakistan, India, this is any BMI about 25 is considered class one obesity. So as the class of obesity increases, you know, your chances for having comorbidities increases further. So this is really for us, but just like I said, even on a lesser BMI, the chances of having comorbidities is much higher. So for a BMI of 25, a Southeast Asian you know, whose genes will have comorbidities about 44% 40 as compared to people from the West, it's about 10%. So we do have a study going on right now called the Masada study, and uh, the results are not still you know, available, but it's just for that reason, to see how our genetic composition you know, and, um, increases our risk for these comorbidities. So we have to remember, our kids are getting bigger. It's a transgenerational problem. These mother are predictive of this child. Moms who are diabetic during pregnancy, they also have an increased risk that their children are have an increased chance of becoming an obese adult. Um, so this is the graph right here I'm showing you is um, from National Health Nutrition Services. And you can see how the trend is in every single age group. So obesity is worse than smoking. It's a bigger health hazard than smoking. And the reason is how it affects all your body system. And there are comorbidities. There are, you know, there are major comorbidities and then there are minor comorbidities. Major comorbidities are non-alcoholic fatty liver disease but it's really more NASH, which can lead to cirrhosis that we are concerned about. Also increases your risk for coronary heart disease. And like I mentioned before, you know, for Southeast Asian community, it starts at a much younger BMI. And the comorbidities I was mentioning before is more like dyslipidemia, hypertension, that can start much early on. And what will it do over a period of time? It increases your risk for stroke. You know, it increases your risk for diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular, coronary artery heart disease. Also, we're seeing more and more of cholelithiasis, increased risk of pancreatitis, especially in pediatric adolescent patients. And some of it is seen more in a more ethnic group, uh, like uh, from Hispanic groups who have Hispanic um, genetics. They are at increased risk for NASH. They have increased risk of um, uh, cholelithiasis. So we do, ha we have seen, there is, has been an increase in pancreatitis um, related to gallstones. Pulmonary disease, again, obstructive sleep apnea is one of the other comorbidity, which is the major comorbidity that we see with obesity. Um, PCOS, it's a minor comorbidity, increases your risk for cancer, breast, uterus, esophagus, that's all related to obesity. Osteoarthritis, arthralgias are again minor comorbidities, but you can have Blount disease, skiff associated with obesity as well. Besides the, uh, the health uh, issues we were talking about, you know, the adolescent patient, they really increase at psychosocial risks. And there was a study, the sad part is, there was a study that was conducted in 1960s and then it was repeat, you know, the, the same study was duplicated 40 years later with same results. So there were kids in high school that they handed over them cards 
in the card set, you know, who would you like to sit or who you would not like to sit next in class. So the card had, one of the cards said, you know, a disfigured child, a child who was in a wheelchair, a child who had a different race, as we know in West, there is really separation between whites and blacks. So, and so would you like to sit to somebody of different racial ethnicity? And the last card said, would you like to sit with an obese child?